George enjoyed all mornings in the country, but Sunday was his favorite. Because Sunday was pancake day. See how it's getting bubbly? That means they're ready to flip. <laughs> Good job! Whoa, go easy on that syrup. It doesn't grow on trees. Well, actually, it does. No, really, it, it does. Trees that grow syrup? George couldn't wait to pick some. I mean, it's not on the tree. It's in the tree. You have to tap it. It's okay. I like my pancakes without. I'll get it. Eat them while they're hot and soggy. Wait, they weren't out of syrup. They had plenty of trees. All he had to do was tap them. Some trees were just right. Here you go, George. Oh, we did it! Now all we have to do is wait. We tap the slowest tree in the woods. Uh -huh. ah! Thanks, George. Hey, George. <gasps> it took a while, but George's bucket was finally full. lifting machine, or an elevator. Mm. Or a cow. Mm. <gasps> yep, and syrup. And we made it. Well, the tree made it, but we tapped the tree all by ourselves. Wow. Uh, mm. Mm. Very mm. moist. <clears throat> syrup at all. Grandpa's trees must be broken. No, no, no. The trees aren't broken, George. Maple syrup trees give sap, not syrup. Sap? Sap becomes syrup after it's boiled down. Luckily, you've come to the right place. We boil it right here at the sugar shack. Well, here you are. Your own bottle of syrup. It takes a whole lot of sap to make a little bit of syrup. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Mm. Mm. Thanks, George. Best syrup ever. Luckily, a little bit of syrup has a whole lot of taste. Most mornings, George went out on the porch to find the paper. This morning, the paper found George. 
Sorry. George wished he could be a paper boy someday. But he didn't even know how to ride a bike. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> this? Oh, why, this was my bike when I was a boy. I sure had fun. But it was a long time ago. George liked knowing the man with the yellow hat was holding him up. By the third day, <laughs> oh, he rode so fast the man with the yellow hat couldn't keep up. <laughs> Very good, George. I think you're ready to ride on the road. <laughs> now remember, always watch where you're going, stay on the right side of the road, and signal turns, like this for left, and this for right. That's it. Oh, and be a good little monkey cyclist. Bye-bye. so fast, but I'm going to be late for school. Hey, could you finish my paper route? <laughs> <laughs> Trusted with a paper route, it was like George's wish had just been granted. Every house on the road gets a paper, including the houses across the stream. Uh -huh. Yes, George had become just like a real paper boy. Nothing would stop him from completing his route. Last time they came to the stream, the man with the yellow hat made paper boats. George thought he remembered how. His boat was so good, George decided to make a whole fleet. be a paper boy. <laughs> That's an important job. <laughs> Looks like you've delivered them all but one. Another day's hard work almost done, eh? <gasps> George couldn't wait for his newspapers to be sun-dried. George had promised Bill he'd deliver all these papers. If it didn't get done, Bill could lose his job. Uh Maybe the man with the yellow hat knew where to get dry papers. Hey, hold on, George. How about we just buy a few dry papers and deliver them right now? And so, George was able to finish his route just like a real paper boy. Maybe I should buy a new bike for myself, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm kind of tired, George. 
Hey, why don't you play while I make hot cocoa? I think we have just enough left for two cups. <laughs> Playing in snow, then finishing off the good hot cocoa? This was going to be a perfect day. <laughs> Here was all this fresh snow just itching to be played with, but it was too deep for George. Hey, George! <laughs> Guess a city kid wouldn't have seen cross-country skis before. It's the most fun way to travel on deep snow. I've got an old pair of skis you can have. Want to come with me? <laughs> This was fun. George took to skiing like, like a monkey to skiing. George had a great view up here. He could see houses and farms. And there was his house. And then he thought he'd better head home right now because the man was making the last of the cocoa and no one can resist the drink-me-now power of Coco. Not even the man with the yellow hat. I wonder what that could be. Uh, I'm gonna go take a quick look around. You wait here. Hey, George, down here. I couldn't find what made that sound. I'm heading home now, have fun. At least it was all downhill from here. He figured he'd be home in seconds. That was awesome! There was no way George could walk home in deep snow without skis. He likes our snowshoes. <laughs> I think he wants to borrow our snowshoes to get to that house. He probably lives there. I'll give him mine. Then how do you get home? You can't walk on the snow without them. Let's pull him home on our sled. Can't. We're already late and Mom's gonna get worried. We can't just leave him here. How about we get ourselves home first and then we'll give the monkey your snowshoes. We live on the other side of the hill. Climb aboard. Now George could see what made that sound. A cold, lost pig. <laughs> he got out last night before it snowed. He's never even seen snow before. Must have been completely mystified by it. Thank you, George. Skiing, sledding, bringing a pig home, then Coco? This was a perfect day to be a monkey. <laughs> Hello, Professor Wiseman. <laughs> Hi. What do you have, George? Your favorite kind of dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your favorite. Uh, but they're the same. Those are the bones that would be inside that. Huh? You know, same as the bones in you. 
<laughs> Feel your arm. The hard part? That's bone. It's your skeleton. Now that he knew he had one of those under his face, George had to see the T-Rex skull up close. Uh, George, don't! It isn't safe! Oh. Are you okay? George always wanted to ride in an ambulance, but he couldn't really enjoy it. At the hospital, Dr. Baker decided they needed to see George's leg bone by taking an x-ray. Well, that's a small break. We have to put your leg in a cast. <laughs> now this cast will keep your leg from moving while the bone heals. <laughs> well, hello! You have a visitor, George. It was George, all right. No one else in the building smelled like that. Hello? Hunley come up here? Yeah, we're in George's room. You know, in the lobby, Hunley pays more attention to George than anyone. That's friendship. A uh, Hunley could keep George company when you go to work. I'd excuse him from his lobby duties. George, would you like Hunley to be your monkey sitter? Uh -huh. Hunley was curious about this new, calm George. There was more to monkey-sitting George than guiding him around the furniture. Hunley cleaned up after him, too, which had its rewards. <laughs> he also helped with those itches that George couldn't reach. Good morning to you too, Hunley. And then something changed. <laughs> Remember, use the crutches, don't step on your cast, and be a good little monkey uh, and dachshund. <laughs> they went to the park every day. George drew some good pictures. And Hunley discovered he liked lying on grass and taking slow strolls with a monkey. See? The brakes all healed. George brought his friends back so he and Hunley could be together. <laughs> George was back to normal, all right. When winter began, everything outdoors looked different. The days were short, the grass was brown, and the trees were bare. George, don't forget your coat. It may be sunny, but it's turning really cold out there. <laughs> George had toys for summer and toys for snow, but there were no toys for just playing cold. There weren't even birds to watch.
George had won. He was having fun like winter had never come. <laughs> bubble froze. That was pretty interesting. But it wasn't what George wanted it to do. He knew his dolphin couldn't freeze. He could play with that any way he wanted. There. That'll warm you up. George was thinking two things. Hello? Boy, was this Coco good, and that he was giving up. How can a monkey have any fun when his stuff all freezes up? <laughs> then he knew exactly how. George's plan was working. <laughs> George had made an ice bowling set. Finally having fun. <laughs> then Jumpy did something unexpected. <laughs> At first, George thought squirrels must really hate bowling. But Jumpy only wanted to get the frozen nuts. <laughs> George and Jumpy played nut hockey till the sun went down. Then he set up for the next day. All that work inventing fun stuff, and it was all for nothing. Winter. It was like a roller coaster of blah. Started already? We're supposed to get a ton of snow tonight. Well, good thing I bought a new shovel. Maybe inventing stuff wasn't all for nothing. It helped him survive the dull of winter till the first snow. George, it's snowing in the house. <laughs> yeah, winter is a roller coaster. And monkeys love roller coasters. 